What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm playing the Turing Test. This game just came out on Itch.io and I love like these kind of quiz test horror game type things. I'm really interested in this. So let's play. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in our artificial intelligence research study. We're glad to inform you that you have been selected to conduct the study. You will take part in a so-called Turing test as a human comparator. You will find all the necessary information and a non-disclosure agreement on the fourth floor in the test room. Thank you very much for your participation. You're welcome. Now this non-disclosure... This non-disclosure agreement, I'm already not heeding it because I'm about to put this video up on YouTube. So yeah, there we go. Um, I don't think I can go into any of these rooms. I guess, wow, my movement is ridiculously slow. Okay. Oh, I just immediately enter. Well, this is such a lovely welcome to this Turing test. I'm appreciative. And we got some free drinks, beer, soda. Oh, I'm gonna dig into those and pop them all in my backpack before I leave. Wait, is that a Jackson Pollock painting? All right, I already don't like it anymore. I don't, oh, read. Good day, study participant. Please read the following instructions carefully. What is the Turing test? The Turing test judges the conversation skills of a computer to measure its artificial intelligence. The test is passed. If the computer can mimic a human so well, a test person cannot reliably identify it as a computer. Who participates in a Turing test? There are three players, A, B, and C. A is the human judge who cannot see B and C. B is a human who tries to convince A that they are human. C is a computer that tries to trick A into believing it's a human. A asks B and C questions through written notes to determine their humanness. In this test scenario, you are player B. Behave humane and have a good time. Okay, so I am a human and I have to convince somebody else that I'm a human. Makes sense. This agreement is made between Grau Technology, GmbH, and the participant. Let me just quickly Sign my name right there. The participant agrees to disclose all information regarding the written and spoken affairs within the study. The participant agrees to not record, stream, or publish any events of this study. The participant agrees to not remove any confidential material of any kind. Well, time to sign again. All right, uh, I guess I gotta hop on the computer. Brown BIOS. Oh, okay. Ready as ever. Oh, hello. Hey, uh, there we go. It's as human as ever. I'm Jane, your study partner. How was your day so far? Not too bad. And you? See, I'm good at this. I'm good at being a human. I've had nearly 30 years to practice. So here I am. I've prepared a couple of questions. Are you ready to answer them? Yeah, but you didn't answer mine. Sure. Wow, this is how this is going to go. Totally impersonal. I gotcha. I want to start with some mathematical questions. Oof. What is three plus four? <sighs> okay, so with the seven above the three, then you carry the one, and then it's the thing. But there's no seven to begin with. That was... I ruined it. I was trying to make one of those jokes where all the stuff comes up on the screen as I'm trying to figure it out. I'm probably going to do it anyway. Seven. What is three times three? That would be nine. Boom. What is 13 minus nine? That would be four, correct? Yeah, because nine plus four is 13. So we're going to go with four. Let's continue with linguistic questions. What does not fit into the sequence? Mouse, cat, monitor, keyboard. Oh, cat. I see what you're doing. Trying to fool me with the mouse and cat thing. Trying to make me think they're both the same. Well, you know, whatever. What does not fit into the sequence? Bird, dog, computer, fish, computer. What does not fit in the sequence? Afterlife, heaven, hell, earth. I would say earth because heaven and hell are both considered destinations in the afterlife. Do I have to capitalize this? Oh no. Maybe that'll let them know that I'm human because I make mistakes like that. A computer wouldn't do that. Do you believe in an afterlife? Mm, no. Sorry to burst anyone's <clears throat> bubbles, just like my vocal cords burst for a second there. That makes no sense. Do you believe in the supernatural? Mm, kinda. In a way, I've experienced some weirdness. So. See, this is what I was looking for. I love questions like this. Are you currently alone in this room? Let me take a look. Over there, over there, over there. Except for that smiley face. I'm gonna consider myself to be alone. So much so that I don't even have a body. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> yeah, let's go with yes. I wonder if I chose no. Or 
Are you sure? Not anymore. Because I just heard a door open. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right. You're doing a little start survey thing with me here. I gotcha. Do you feel lonely sometimes? Always. I'm always alone. Are you afraid of the dark? Oh, this is, this is like very similar to start survey. Break, 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 break. It's break time. Can I get up? I can't get up. I can't have a break. Screw this. Nah, I'm not afraid of the dark. Do you often have night? Nightmares, you gotta fucking chill, dude. Okay, do you often have nightmares? No, you're not doing this to me. All right, you're not doing that. I know what you're doing. What? Let's try image recognition. What is this painting called? Do I really have to wait for this whole thing to print? All right, you know, I can't make heads or tails of any of that. Oh, is that the Mona Lisa? I think that's the Mona Lisa. Just based on the shape of the head and the face. It kind of looks like the Mona Lisa. What is this painting? Bro, okay, I'm hearing a bunch of stuff going on around me, dude. I don't like this. This is creeping me out, man. This is actually creeping me out. What is this? Oh, is this the... What's it called? Uh, The Screamer? Is that what it's called? God, I know exactly what this is but i don't know the name of it i'm gonna go with the screamer i don't think that's the name of it but i'm i'm going with that what is this painting called great we gotta sit here and wait for this stupid computer to print this whole goddamn thing out all right bro how am i supposed to know okay i'm hearing a lot of noises uh i don't know what this could possibly be blah, possibly be. i'm gonna go with the persistence of memory which is not what this is but i'm going for it because that's another very well-known painting do you consider yourself a happy person yeah do you have a good relationship with your parents i do exclamation point what does that have to do with this come on do you have trust issues not really. Only a couple of people in my life have done me dirty, but not enough to make me have trust issues. I think I'm good. What? Oh, dude, you better get the hell away from this place. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for doing that. What? Oh, <laughs> you asshole, dude. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah. I wonder if I could choose different answers or if it's the same thing. Is the environment behaving strangely? Nah, it's fine. That's something a human would say, not a computer. Adrian's PC, <laughs> do you need a toilet break? Yeah, sure. Oh. Okay, I keep hearing noises. I'm standing up. Ah, uh, can you turn the lights on? How do I get out of here? Here we go. Okay. Bathroom time? It's very dark. Um. Oh. The computer. Ah! You asshole. <laughs> you jerk. What's happening now? What is this? Could not detect participant position. Jane. What is going on? Pauline Mueller? Hi, Pauline. I added the environment to the AI simulation, but the AI seems to get unstable after some questions. I'll have deeper look tomorrow. Wait. Are you insinuating that I was an AI? Is that what you're saying? Well, that was actually really cool. It really reminded me of Start Survey. One thing I wanna do though, I'm gonna do this maybe off camera. I'm gonna come back to you guys because I wanna see if maybe I can answer this in different ways. And I wanna see if that leads to different endings. I wanna maybe try and make it think that I am a computer.
definitely totally pointless for me to play through this again, but I did want to see if anything different would happen, but much like start survey, nothing different happened. It's very possible that this was made for a game jam or in a very short amount of time, and that's why there aren't many other strings of dialogue to get into. But regardless of that, I actually enjoyed this a lot. I love finding games like this that are basically like surveys, tests, that end up having some kind of like creepy overtones to them. This I think is a big contender with some of the others that I've played. I just feel like it could use maybe some other strings of dialogue, that type of stuff to kind of keep it fresh, maybe allow for more replay value. Having different outcomes would definitely bolster this thing and make it feel like more of a fulfilling experience. And I was expecting to see person C, which was the computer and try and figure out what the deal is with that, but that never ended up happening. Unless maybe person C was the thing that attacked me in the end. That's like kind of a little theory that I have in my head right now. But again, either way, this was a very enjoyable experience. If you guys want to try this out for yourselves, I highly recommend it. It was very cool. I'll leave a link down below in the description for you. Otherwise, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate your support and I'm really happy to have you here. It's part of this little growing community that we're building. So thank you. If you did happen to enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. Smack that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.